Hello everybody, my name is Luchara and this is Team Fight Manager, another episode of my Let's Play. We are currently in third in Pro League Division 1 today. We're going to finish the regular season. we got two matches left and we're hoping to finish first. We are in a tie, but we have the worst tiebreaker. So we got to win them both. Hopefully at least one in a 2-0, preferably both. We want to uh, finish first. We get the bye to the finals because that means we are guaranteed going to Worlds. Right, you got to win your league and then, well, top two. But I really don't want to finish third. I want to get at least second. That is the goal for today. I've been playing fairly well, 10 and 6. Let's just quickly peek at the last patch. Give ourselves a reminder of that. Ghost and Vampire got bopped. Ninja got nerfed. So the Assassins are kind of trading out what's good. Dark Mage got a health buff. Boomerang, Hunter, Swordsman, Shadow Mancer got nerfed. I don't think Shadowmancer is really a threat anymore. So I'm thinking just damage, just focus damage. Get the Sniper, get the Dark Mage, get the Pyro, get the Gambler. Not all four, obviously, but just get a ton of heavy damage. I feel like is the best way to go or two heavy damage and a Bard. And of course, a tank. Shrine Maiden is also in an interesting spot right now, though. Ooh, I got really good conditions on my team. It's good to get extra attack speed, a little extra movement speed. It should help. Okay, so this is a team that's in fourth. I really don't want to lose this one because all of a sudden I'm not even in the top three anymore. <laughs> so what do we want to ban here? No gambler. That's fine. I'm just going to ban the devil because I don't want to deal with it. Ah, uh, ninja. Is ninja. I'm going to ban ninja. He wants to go ghost. I'm okay with that. Knight. I did not expect him to take knight. Okay, and that it's fine. I'm just a little surprised. I'm gonna go shrine maiden. I'm gonna go sniper. Then hopefully we can get like dark mage. Ooh, he went shadow mancer. Huh. I'm gonna ban the ghost. I don't like the fact that he went Shadow Mancer though. Shadow Mancer is like the one thing that kind of could potentially <laughs> screw up what I'm trying to do. So let's get Berserker. Let's get a tank, especially since he banned Cold Corpse. So hey, he took Dark Mage and Boomerang Hunter. All right, so he didn't take Bird. Bird just got left. When's the last time Bird just didn't get picked? Plague Doctor, maybe? God, look how many times it's been nerfed, though. It's like almost every single one of its, of its stats have been nerfed. But it would be good in this composition. Oh, he has Boomerang Hunter, though, which is AoE. So I don't want to have two frontliners. So, I mean, my options realistically are Bard or Pyro. Mystic Dancer? Mystic Dancer's caught a couple of nerfs, too. Clown? Maybe? Yeah, let's go Clown. Clown's got a bit of tankiness. So if we do get in a situation where uh, we're trying to just not get spawn camp by Shadow Mancer shenanigans, Clown is a bit tankier than, uh, than a lot of good, solid than most damage dealers. Um, Mother Teresa. So I do have more Shrine Maiden Mastery here, but Mother Teresa gives a lot of extra heals. We got Piercing Spear on the one damage dealer, Gale on the other damage dealer. Early separate alts. Yeah, we got, I mean, Clown doesn't have an alt. The other three have good alts. Get ahead, hopefully. And um, get, he get far enough ahead that we can survive the late game because he's going to have a better late game because Shadow Mancer. Shadow Mancer almost always guarantees a, a good late game. All right, Berserker is going off right now. Oh, and then he's going to alt on top of that. Ooh, that was nice. Berserker killed the um, Boomerang Hunter out of his alt. That's huge. Sniper had a bad alt, though. Oh, we got to kill that Dark Mage. It's so low. This Dark Mage is a problem right now. Can we kill it? No, we're just not going to kill it. It's just going to live with one health and destroy me throughout the whole game. Oh, the Shrine Maiden looked like she was going to go for it. Yep, no, that's why we're losing. I mean, 
we're losing because Shadow Mans are shenanigans, but if we just killed this friggin' Dark Mage at least once. Alright, well. I didn't think Shadow Mancer would be a problem, but it was a problem. <laughs> Is it just me or did that match feel like it took way longer than a minute? Right? Oh, man. So, Shrine Maiden was not it. Just, that's the problem, like, Shadowmancer is just so good at what I usually try to do. So good at making, at against what I tr wanted to do there. It's like he heard, it's like the AI heard what I said I wanted to do, and was like, well, I'm going to pick the Shadowmancer then. <laughs> right? Almost? Anyway, I don't... I don't. I can't let that get in my head. I'm gonna stick to the plan. I'm gonna stick to the plan, um, and maybe this is a bad idea, but I don't know. Like, I know Shrine Maiden wasn't great there, but it's so good right now. Like the buffs it's received. I don't know. Ninja's seen some nerfs. Maybe I leave Ninja and ban Shadow Mancer. Right? Like, I don't know. Oh, he's going to ban Ninja. All right, so let's go Sniper. I think he's still the best damage dealer. He really likes Knight. Vampire. All right, so I want really high backline damage. I want to make sure that Vampire just dies when it dives. Right? And Werewolf would be good with the Vampire, so let's take that away from him. Plague Doctor, really? That's just, I'm just kind of in shock right now. Um, So let's go Pyro. So we have some AoE to help deal with that. And Coal Corpse for my tank, which should stay alive. So, I mean, the Coal Corpse is going to die occasionally because he has decent damage. I don't know. I think I'm going to win this handily. Honestly. I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> I certainly hope I win it handily. Um, we got some Dark Mage Mastery there. Piercing Spear there. Gale on the Pyro is good because Pyro has... That's what, let's give the Sniper the Gale. Pyro has bad base attack speed, right? Like 10% of its base value is less than what the Sniper gets out of 10%. He's going to alt early with Plague Doctor, right? Because he ulted early last time. Because he was ulting the same time I was. So let's use separate alts after his alt phase. But he's going to have a good alt phase. Because, I mean, it's Plague Doctor, right? Plague Doctor always has a good alt phase. All right. Vampire got three stacks. That's a little more than I hoped it would have gotten. But, I mean, I still haven't had anybody die. Okay. Well, now I've had people die. Because, you know, um, what's McCallum alt? Plague Doctor alt. Okay, I am still ahead after his alts. That is really good, although my Dark Mage is alted too. But his Vampire is at 11 stacks, which is a touch concerning. And we kill the Vampire. Nice. All right, so it's going to get its stacks, but I think it's going to be too little too late. Okay, it's got it. The Vampire has the stacks. But only only the Coal Corpse. Oh, man, the Sniper really waited to alt. <laughs> only the Coal Corpse is bleeding, though, right now. And now the Dark Mage. Now we got this. Yeah, stupid Shadow Mancer. It just disrupts, like, disrupts my plan so bad. All right. We needed that. I could not afford to lose this match. Period. I mean, especially in a 2-0, but just period. I cannot afford to lose this match. All right, yeah, Necromancer's not it. Necro's good if you have, like, Bard, and you can combine their alts. Other than that, I don't think Necro's very good. But all four of my damage dealers did... Good damage, and Cole Corpse just stayed alive, which was the plan. Holy crap, it healed itself for 856. That's a lot of healing. Like, a lot, a lot for, I mean, it's all self-healing, but that's more than <laughs> an actual healer does sometimes. Performance of Dark Mage was top-notch. It was very good. I was very impressed. All right, so I guess we just ban Devil and Shadow Mancer again and hope he doesn't go too heavy on the backline dive. 
guess. I don't know. I mean, it worked there. Exorcist. Oh, and somebody did mention in a comment, if I was worried about Taoist, right? If Taoist starts to be an issue again, somebody asked in the comments, does Exorcist skill negate the Taoist? It does, but the problem is the Taoist is usually going to hit the Exorcist. It only negates it if it hits somebody else, right? So it is but isn't a good counter to the Taoist. Anyway. Bard. Okay, so he's going Bard this time. Let's go Sniper. Let's go Dark Mage. He's probably going to go Knight. Okay, so he went Ninja. He did go Ninja this time. Um, well, I'm going to ban Ghost. Because I don't need that in the back line with the Ninja. He banned Taoist. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go Coal Corpse. And then I'm going to pick another big back line damage dealer. Pyro or whatever. Right, to help deal with, or maybe Archer. Archer's good against the Ninja. All right, so what did, what's he got here? Clown, Boomerang Hunter, Ninja Bear. Okay, so he doesn't have, he does not have a tip, a front, uh, a, a, like a front liner. Right? So he's going to be extremely squishy. So, mm, yeah, let's go Archer. Archer's fine. It's, it's good against the Ninja, but... I need the ninja to actually die for, <laughs> for it to be relevant. But hopefully it does. I I need better masteries. Like I never pick gambler. Like gambler fighter necro. How often do I pick those? Right? Exorcist and executioner. I guess plague doctor. This is when they're somewhat relevant. But like these ones, at one point, boomerang hunter and swordsman were both meta for me, but not anymore. Um, do I want to try alting at the same time to try to? This is risky. This is a risky call, but I'm going to do it. So my hope is we can kill the Barret out of his alt. If it doesn't work, though, it it could make his alts even better, right? Well, we're winning the non-alt portion of the match so far, right? There's Cold Corpse alt, there's Ninja alt, there's Sniper alt. There's Okay, so we... Oh, the, oh, the Barret alt's down. The Baradol is down, and the Boomerang Hunter got no value out of his ult. Yeah, we got this in the bag. I am not even worried. Oh, it would have been nice to kill the Barad. There we go. Yeah, the, he's just, he's too squishy. And he, he can't kill the Cold Corpse. Cold Corpse literally hasn't died yet. <laughs> Zero deaths. And it still hasn't died. Right? Because it was in alt form. If he kills it again, it will actually die. Can my Cold Corpse go on dying? Oh, oh. Oh, nine seconds. It lived for 51 seconds. That is crazy. In a good way, obviously. But hey, if you like that, and you like this video, and you like this series, hit that thumbs up button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. But yeah, no. Three heavy damage dealers and a tank. If you can avoid Shadow Mancer and him taking, the opponent taking too much dive, works. But yeah, Cloud's good. That one is pretty good. I'd stick with that. Boomerang Hunter's been nerfed. It's not good anymore. It was. It was for a while. All right, so I got the win. All right, so, so I'm in second. If I win, I mean, I, I have second locked up. Problem is, I need Sticky Seaweeds to lose to get first. I can't catch them in Tiebreaker, right? Best I can do is plus eight. He would have to lose for his Tiebreaker to go down. And if he loses, then I don't care about tiebreaker anymore because I'm in first by myself, right? So yeah, all I can do is win and hope whoever plays the Sticky Seaweeds gives me a hand. If not, I'm okay with second place. All right, so global ban notice. These are interesting. Have th has this happened? I think this happened once earlier on in this run, like quite a bit earlier. But just pretend, I mean, it just mimics real life, right? In MOBAs, occasionally there'll be a bug with a certain champion. Um, I almost said God, because the only MOBA I really play is Smite. Um, but yeah, Champion. <laughs> um, if it's bugged, they'll just ban it for that week, right? So I like this. It mimics it. Although this is something that doesn't get picked, so it doesn't really matter. But it's still cool. All right, basic headset. Oh, yeah, because I finished that sponsor quest for kills. Yeah, $7,000. Nice. I don't think this headset's that good. Eh, four attack. 
I mean, that would have been good at one point. We're past that point of it being good, but I got three new pieces of equipment potentially coming. Well, next week, three pieces of equipment potentially new. So we have the Ritz Rhinos. The seaweeds have the seahorses, so it's a big battle of the sea there. Well, I guess there's a few sea creatures, but they have sea in their name. And I guess so do the seals. Seals, seaweeds, seahorses. See what I mean? All right, so who are we playing? Rhinos? Knight, Devil, Gunner, Shrine Maiden? Well, we're going to ban Devil for sure. Do I need to just ban Shadowmancer? Yeah, I think I'm I, I like it was nerfed, but I it absolutely destroyed me <laughs> a few matches ago or a few games ago, last match, right? So I think I should I think I should ban it. I'm expecting second place. I am not expecting the uh the seaweeds to lose. Obviously it'd be great if they do. Um, but hey, if I finish twelve and six, my first season in Pro League Division One, that's good result. And then I just need to win one playoff match. And I'm into Worlds, right? Worlds in your first season of Pro League Division One is good. It's not the minimum number of seasons because I did spend two seasons in Pro League Division Two, but oh, they took Sniper, jerks. Um, I'm gonna go Shrine Maiden this time. Okay, so there's the Ninja. So let's ban Ghost. He took the cold corpse away. I wanted the cold corpse. All right, we're going to take Knight instead then. Actually, I probably could have done Berserker. I guess we went Bard. Archer. Okay, so he has no... <laughs> Once again, the AI is like, I don't need a frontliner. What do I need a frontliner for? So Gambler has really good range. And because we're going to be trying to outrange them, now we can't outrange the Sniper. And we can't outrange the Archer either. That's why I'm not taking Clown or Pyro. I want at least, I want to have some range, right? At least Gambler's close to being able to range them. But I think I'll be okay, because my Shrine Maiden should be able to keep my the Knight alive long enough. And hey, I actually get to, to use my Gambler Mastery for a change. We'll see. It depends on Gambler a lot. But he has he has crazy damage. Early alts, separate, early separate alts. Let's go early simultaneous alts. Uh, so basically, my alts are all just to try to support the Dark Mage during his alt. Because what the Dark Mage does during his alt is he siphons the enemy stats and uh, and gets those stats, obviously. Um, so if you can keep him alive the whole time, he's absolutely swinging. Like, he's practically one shot and stuff right now, right? And so he's got extra defense from the Night Alt. He's got. He had the damn shield from the gambler alt, right? All right, so we need to make sure the, the bard doesn't have a good alt, and then I'm fine, basically. Well, it's pretty close. But the bard isn't alting because he's almost dead. So as soon as he comes back to life, he's going to alt here. We need to kill the bard. Kill the bard, kill the bard, kill the bard, kill the bard. Okay. Should have this. Should have this, in theory, at least. Yeah, his strategy is interesting and could work, like, outranging me. With big damage dealers. Uh, it's not over yet. He still could win. But he's not. That was close. And if he had gotten a better Bard alt, that might have been trouble for me. But, eh, he picked Sniper away from me. Yeah, I don't know. Shrine Maiden has been a little... Been a little mid, honestly, lately. On paper, it should shine, but it just hasn't been. I don't know, maybe Ninja, I wasn't really watching. Maybe Ninja was in its face a little too much there. That's definitely possible too. Try to use your ultimate a bit better. I hope players can take you as an example. All right, he liked that. All right, so, yeah, getting a 2-0. I mean, I guess winning 2-0 is irrelevant. I just need to win, right? Because tiebreakers doesn't matter. If I win, the team behind me can't catch me. Regardless of tiebreaker, if I lose, well, I guess I lose. If I lose, I guess tiebreaker matters. Let's just not lose. How about that? <laughs> then we don't have to worry about it. 
Right, so he banned Ghost and Archer. Oh, I'm going to pick Sniper first, because I think if I don't pick Sniper, he's going to. Necro is fine. Knight is also fine. Let's go Dark Mage. This is the combo. I feel like when you get both of these, you win a lot of games. Um, Yeah, let's just ban Ninja. Ninja's annoying. Ninja is one thing, too, that can combo well with Necro. Because Okay, so he's going to go Bard. So what happens is, I mean, I've explained this before, but if he Bard alts and Necro alts and Ninja alts at the same time, it's just because both Ninja and Necro get like an extra person on your team. So it's six on four. So not having Necro there. Now, I could have just banned Bard would have probably worked just as well. But yeah. All right. So I want. I'm going to take Pyro or Boomerang Hunter. So I want some AOE. Because the Necro has his little clone things, or ghouls, I guess they're called. So having some AoE is nice to kind of kill them with AoE, not kill them, you know, with direct one-to-one -one damage. Um, so yeah, Pyro is Pyro's better than Boomerang Hunter right now, I feel. So he's on, what, mid-alts? Early simultaneous alts again? No, let's go early separate alts. Let's get ahead. And that way our coal corpse is in alt form nice and early. Right? Alright, so. Ooh, he almost killed Core Corpse, and then he didn't. And then he did. <laughs> Alright, so there's Dark Mage Alt. He's swinging. Oh, he died. He does keep the thing when he comes back to life. But it's just that's time though that he's not swinging, right? But yeah, oh, that's a good Pyro Alt. Because Pyro Alt's one of the most inconsistent alts. Okay, we killed Barret out of his alt. We should be good. We should be good. All right, so there's Necro Alt. Now think about how scary this Necro Alt would be if he had Barret Alt going, right? But he doesn't, so it's fine. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized what the score was. <laughs> and, I mean, this is... I mean, all my guys are almost dead. So he did get kills there, but... Yeah, you only killed the coal corpse twice. Oh, three times. Congratulations, you got a third kill on the coal corpse. <laughs> oh my goodness, this wasn't even close. No, Necro's not it. Like, I, I understand why they take Necro, with Bard being so meta. Because if you can get a good combination of their alts, you can, you can win the game off it. But if you don't, Necro is not very good, because it's been nerfed so hard. Now, if you're a Necro fan... Oh my god, they lost. I finished first. Thank you. Uh, who did it? The Sudden Seahorses. One of the last place teams. Oh my god, they were tied for the last place. Pulled off the big upset and beat the Sticky Seaweeds to give me first place. Guaranteed trip to Worlds in my future, folks. That's awesome. All right. Oh, it's top three make it to Worlds. That's right, too. So, technically, second place was guaranteed Worlds as well. <laughs> Which is less cool, right? But, yeah. Um, should I be using you? No. I mean, I never use Muzzy, really, either. Or Axel, at this point. Yeah, during the offseason, I might have to try to get some different... Uh, master he's on some of these characters all right so let's check these equipments let's see what we got here see if there's anything good nope not there what about here come on cross your fingers for me folks i know my fingers are crossed nope <laughs> and i'm gonna assume probably nothing again but again my equipment's pretty solid right now i'm not i'm not super upset about getting, you know, I don't need better equipment. I can win worlds with this equipment, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I feel. Um, but yeah, it'd be better if my stats were a little higher on my guys and girls. But I think I can win worlds potentially with this squad. It depends, because worlds tends to have a different meta as well, right? So it really depends. On what the meta is when we get up there. It might be different. It might not. Alright, so. Mental training. 
Is mental training where we change? No, this is where we change our... What's my call? It's... Do I really want to change any of those? I'd like to add some, but I don't really want to change. Special training. Um, where's Axel with this Necro? Let's see if we can change this and get Pyro instead. Would be good. Well, I guess he does have Dark Mage. But I have somebody else with Dark Mage, right? What I need is somebody with Sniper. Oh, Shadow Mancer, that's not Pyro. <laughs> this just in, folks. Pyro is not Shadow Mancer. Uh, unfortunate. But not a big deal. I mean, I wasn't going to be playing Necro, right? So I'm probably not going to play Shadow Mancer either. But honestly, there's a better chance of me playing Shadow Mancer than there is me playing Necro, right? Um, what about maybe this Swordsman or even the Boomerang Hunter? Now let's change this Swordsman. Let's see if we can get Sniper would be good, right? Come on, give me Sniper. I'll take Archer. And we actually, our mastery actually increased. So I'm okay with that. I would have preferred <laughs> Sniper. But it's fine. Get a little bit better going into the finals here. This equipment is done. Maybe we get, maybe we can upgrade our controller right before finals. No, nope. yeah, that's a decent controller. It's 150 bucks back. Can't really be upset about that, I guess. And so let's do, let's do a stream. Just gonna do one stream here. And then let's. Who are we changing? Try to change this illusionist to Pyro. Probably we'd probably just get Necro back though if I try that, right? <laughs> That's what would happen. All right, so let's change this ninja to marksman. Come on, sniper. It's probably gonna be gambler or stupid mystic dancer. Oh no, got sniper. And didn't lose barely any mastery. So that's a win. All right, so you are going to be probably, potentially, definitely going to be seeing action now because Sniper Mastery is huge. Let's see if we can get you a second trait. Just don't be a negative trait, please. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate it. So it reduces all stats by 10 when you're winning and increases them by 10 when you're losing. So... <clears throat> There's one that's the reverse of this, and I like that one better. Because if you have the reverse of this, you just alt early and then and try to stay ahead. But with this one, you want to alt late. But, oh, what have we got here? A gift has arrived from Showmaker's fans with a message saying that they'll always support him or her. Check the gift in your management. Bathtubs, what is this, a chair? Back speed by three and reduce cool to my four. That's good. I think I like that better. We we switch marksman champ and mastery. So yeah, we we switch two marksman mastery for four percent cooldown. I am up to sixteen percent cooldown. That's a lot of cooldown. That's that matters, right? Like that adds up. All right, sticky seaweeds. Here we go. So yeah, oh, I wish. I mean, it's heroism's not bad. But it's not good either. Wait, where'd he go? Right there. <laughs> Uses all stats by 10 when you're winning, increases by 10 when you're losing. Uh, I mean, it's only 10. It's not either way. The reverse. I prefer the one that's the reverse of that, like I said. But it's fine. Anyway, this match doesn't matter, right? We're going to Worlds no matter what. But it would be fun to win, right? This is the best of five, but I want to I want to send a message to the teams at Worlds, right? Like, I'm ready, I'm prepared, I am good enough to compete at Worlds. Maybe we'll see. Probably not, but all right. Well, I'm gonna just ban Devil and Shadow Mancer because it seems to be working. I'm a big fan of if you find something that works, 
keep using it until it doesn't work anymore and then find something else, right? All right, we're definitely first picking Sniper because we have somebody with Sniper Mastery now. Not that that really matters. It was already the best thing. Okay, Ghost. Ghost is fine. I th I'm not scared of Ghost. Says the guy who's probably about to lose to Ghost. <laughs> oh, no, he banned Cold Corpse. Uh, Berserker, I guess, then, for my tank. Probably the best thing. Um, let's ban Werewolf. I don't want to deal with that in combination with Ghost. Oh, Ninja and Ghost? Uh, this guy. Being a real pain in my butt. All right, Ice Mage. We'll try Ice Mage. See what happens. I don't love <laughs> the look of this one, if I'm being honest. He does have a self-heal, so that's fine. He got some mastery. He doesn't have any mastery, so the stat advantage isn't that significant. And eh, who am I kidding? It's still fairly significant. <laughs> um, it depends on Ghost. Ghost and Ninja together is annoying, though. Late alts, late separate alts, because of the heroism, sure. But see, the problem with late alts is potentially we're letting the Ghost have a really good early game. Although the Ghost did not have a good early <laughs> initial skirmish there. You know, see, now Ghost just got two kills. Three kills. We did kill it, though. I feel like I have better alts than him, though. Depends on Boomerang Hunter. Boomerang Hunter can be a, a really good alt. As long as Boomerang Hunter doesn't have a great alt. Was he on late alts too, though? He might be. All right, nice stun on the ghost there. By the um, by the Ice Mage. Yes, yeah, so this is dead even, so I need a good Boomerang Hunter alt. Yes, yes, we can't. Or I need good Berserker alt and not a good Boomerang Hunter alt, which is what we got. Oh, can we kill that? I was going to say, can we kill that Boomerang Hunter? It's like almost dead. My dudes, like, all right, we got this. Okay, I was nervous. The double backline dive was scary. And the ghost, see, even the ghost, he got nine kills and two assists. It still only did four or 500 damage, but man, it absorbs a lot of damage. I don't remember ghost being this tanky, but apparently it is. But the plan worked. Ice Mage did what it needed to do. Berserker did what it needed to do. Everything did what it needed to do, right? Basically. But yeah, no, that was... It was an interesting strategy they tried. Double backline dive, then banned my coal corpse away from me, which I'd been picking lately, which was smart. I do think the Ice Mage was good, though. I think that was a good pick by me. You think he carried? I'm counting on your excellent performance in the next match. That was, that's the guy who played Sniper. I do agree. He had a good match. Unfortunately, Damo's in a poor mood, but he's the life of the party, so he brings up everybody else's condition. So... You got to stay in, Domo, no matter what, right? Because I need you to make everybody else better. So the question is, okay, never mind. I was going to say, do I ban Ninja? I, I know I beat it, but no, I'm just going to keep banning Devil and Shadow Mancer. The fact that he banned Archer makes me think he's going to try some backline shenanigans. No, okay. Well, I'll just take Sniper and Dark Mage then. You want to let me have Sniper and Dark Mage, I'll take them. Um, I don't want to deal with Taoist. I know it hasn't really been picked lately, but I'm scared he's going to do a, a Taoist pick, you know, out of nowhere off the top rope. So he's going Coal Corpse, or he's banned my Coal Corpse. He's already got a Fighter. So I'm going to do Shrine Maiden, and I'll pick either Berserker or Knight, whichever's there. The chances of him taking both is pretty much nil. Yeah, so we can do Berserker here. Berserker with a Shrine Maiden healing it is usually pretty good as well. Might not do quite as much damage, but it stays alive for a long time. So he's... Yeah, let's, let's do late separate alts again. For the purpose of heroism. And I think he's on late alts too, right? So hopefully I can kill the Barred Ed result in a reasonable amount of time when it happens, right? All right, so we got him in a good little, or we had him in a good, rough, weird um, respawn. He's pretty tanky, I just realized. 
You got two frontliners and clowns relatively tanky. Even Bard has a bit of a bit of beef, right? Compared to a lot of backliners. But luckily I have good damage. But whenever the problem is when my berserker dies, I go down quick. Okay, Bard alt did nothing. Okay, Shrine Maiden alt. Okay. Oh, the fighter basically whipped on his alt. Yeah, we got this. We just sniper still has her alt. There it is. Yeah, we got this. This is this is good. This is good. This is fine. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. Oh, can we kill this, the bard though? Thank you. <laughs> Sniper hit it with her ability and then nobody fenced the bard off for a minute and I was getting worried. Man, clown? 2200 damage from the clown. But I'm assuming it was getting the bard buffs. Always a little less impressive when <laughs> something is, you know, getting the bard buffs. I will say one thing. About going to worlds. One negative thing about going to worlds, I don't, I don't get to do those event matches where you get the extra money and experience. Because I'm going to worlds instead, because they happen at the same time. That was a pretty solid shrine maiden. Pretty, pretty solid shrine maiden. Can I complete 3 0? I'm tempted to let the Shadow Mancer through just to see if it gets picked. Because, I mean, I can afford to lose a game or two here, right? I'm going to let it through. I want to see if it gets picked. I want to know going into the worlds, do I need to ban this, right? Do I need to, it'd be nice to know. And I mean, I know it's only one match. It's not going to give me complete information, but it'd be interesting to know. Okay, so that now I know. <laughs> I need to ban it if I don't want to deal with it. Uh, and Plague Doctor. All right, let's go Dark Mage. I know Squishies are bad against Shadowmancer. I'm aware. Let's get a little. Nope, this is the ban phase. Let's uh, let's ban Shrine Maiden. I don't want him to have Shrine Maiden because he has Plague Doctor. Vampire. Okay, so let's get a little beef here. Let's go Berserker. And oh, he banned Clown. I was definitely going to take Clown. Werewolf. Yeah, let's try Werewolf. So we have a little bit of beef. So when we do get in the late game, oh Taoist. That, that. Um. All right. So, <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say is, when we get to the late game, I have two things that don't die instantly. So hopefully we can survive the Shadow Mancer foolishness. Let's alt early though. I know heroism, whatever. I want to get ahead early, right? Especially with the vampire. Okay, vampire only got two stacks. That's good. Oh my God, Taos is annoying. Hate it. It's so annoying. Oh. Okay, werewolf. Kill the kill the, the coffin. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice lead. But I mean, that's my alts. Or well now it's my alts. And he still has a couple of good alts too. Well. Yeah, he's got he's got one. No, he's got two good alts. He only has two alts, but they're good alts. But I have a pretty hefty lead. And the vampire only has five stacks. Vampire's not getting stacks. Okay, now it might get some. This Plague Doctor alt is scary. But once this ends, if I can stabilize, I'm fine. Right? And I did stabilize, so I should be fine. Vampire's not even going to get his 13 stacks because the werewolf's going to kill his coffin. Nice. All right. So I did beat Shadow Mancer, but I still believe I am better off banning it. Yeah, Vampire was not the pick for him. And I do feel like banning Shrine Maiden was smart by me. Because honestly, in Plague Doctor's current state, it's nerfed into the ground state. It You kind of need healing. We're going to world, so baby. Which is all that really matters. That, however, is going to be in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.